Hello there, this is Liv, straight from Kalkine Studio. You're watching Go Green with Kalkine. Today, let's talk about the impact drought is having on Canada's agricultural sector. And if you like this information, please like, share and comment on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for notifications for our latest videos. For regular updates and information, log on to our website, kalkinemedia.com. Climate change and extreme weather conditions are a big concern for the entire Canadian economy. It not only affects the agricultural industry, but also has wider implications for its citizens. Drought in parts of Canada, as reported by the Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, will not only hit farming, but impact every individual as it will lead to a rise in the prices of grocery items. From the hydroelectricity sector to mining, ramifications of droughts will be felt in critical areas. According to the latest National Agroclimate Risk Report released by Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, dry conditions in the prairie region will have an adverse impact on farming activities. Droughts will significantly shape up agricultural input costs and productivity. In southern Saskatchewan and Manitoba, precipitation was well below normal in the fall, winter and spring seasons that preceded the growing season, and that's according to this report. According to Environment and Climate Change Canada, the forecast is for low rainfall across the driest regions of the prairies. In fact, not only southern Saskatchewan and Manitoba, but much of Canada, including Quebec and Ontario, have received below average precipitation in the last few seasons. Let's now find out how these drought-like conditions can impact the economy. Well, for starters, crops need water to grow, but the current drought situation can lead to enormous dryness in soil, a fact that worries many experts. The Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada report also highlights that below average precipitation in winter has resulted in low soil moisture, which is a cause of concern for farmers in the region. In fact, the moisture level was below 50% of what the soil can actually hold. Unless the spring season sees significant rainfall, it will be impossible to recharge soil moisture levels. This will result in lower than expected farm output, which in turn will lead to rising prices of groceries. But the rise of retail inflation is not the only worry. Some places are having to adopt extreme measures to handle the impact of droughts. For example, a southern Manitoba community has requested its residents to cut water consumption by 25%. The city of Morden in Manitoba had to resort to this measure as the current water level in the city's Lake Minnewasta is at a record low, a condition not seen there since 1983. This reflects the magnitude of the problem. Droughts can severely impact socio-economic landscapes. Cattle too rely on precipitation. The forecast of dry conditions in southern Saskatchewan and Manitoba can also mean limited grass for cattle to graze on and no water in the lakes to drink from. And then there's the energy. Over 60% of Canada's total electricity comes from hydro sources. Experts worry that extended dry conditions are likely to jeopardise the share of hydroelectricity in Canada. In Manitoba, hydroelectricity accounts for a whopping 96% of all energy generated, and that's according to government data. Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada's report is bad news for the province's hydroelectricity sector as well. For the federal government and activists who have been calling for net zero carbon emissions for the country, it's imperative to consider conditions like drought while framing policies around climate change. That's all for now. I'll be back soon with more shows around clean energy, renewables 
and climate change. Thanks for watching. I'm Leave for Calkine.